Hey everybody, it's Nicole coming at you with a quick and easy DIY for Valentine's Day. You know I was going to have to bring your um, a nice little DIY for Valentine's Day. Now what we're going to be making today is some earrings that look like this. And you can take this technique and make, you know, more earrings in different shapes, sizes, pins, um, if you want. Whatever your little heart desires, um, you can. I'm just giving you the um, foundation and you can build upon it. So aren't they cute? My camera will focus because I really want you to see how stunning they are. Gosh, I didn't want to act right today. But yeah, look how pretty they are. Oh. M G. Okay, so they're super easy. And here is a pen that I also made using the same technique. Okay, so let me tell you what you're gonna need. Um, I went into my stash and I had a whole bag of these wooden shapes. I got these a while ago from Hobby Lobby for $5.99. Um, I'm not sure how many pieces are in here. I want to say it's like, no, it's a thousand pieces. Okay, it's still on the pack. Wow, that's a lot for $5.99. <laughs> anyway, a thousand pieces and you get all these different um, wooden shapes, different sizes and all that good stuff. So I went in and picked out different sizes of hearts and that's what I used in this project. So you can pick those up still at Hobby Lobby because I've seen them in there. So I'm pretty sure you can get some at Michael's if you don't have a Hobby Lobby Um so yeah, look for those. Okay, we're also gonna need um, a paint pen. So I had this set of um, paint pens that I got from, I wanna say this was Joann's, um, on clearance as you can see, cause you know I am the clearance queen, honey. These were on sale for $9.97 and I'm not sure how much they would have been regular price, but I'm pretty sure it was not $9.97 cause paint pens tend to be expensive. So I actually took the black one out and of course, you know, when it comes to paint pens, you have to shake them up. They're actually paint markers, but I call them pens. If you don't have these, you can use Sharpies. They work just as good um, with this process. Okay, then you're gonna need some sort of adhesive. So we're gonna just use good old Mod Podge because you can get this in the dollar store. Um, it doesn't really matter which formula you use. I just happened to use the gloss because that was the first thing I grabbed. But you can use the matte. It just depends on what you're trying to do, um, what you're, you're wanting the effect to be, but it really doesn't matter. So using some Mod Podge and for the beautiful red um, gilded effect, you're going to need some, um, mirrored effect leafing. Basically, this is quite similar to gold leafing, except it's not as delicate as gold leafing. You can find these, um, where you find the gold leafing in the craft stores. Michael's has it, um, what is it? Joann's has it in their craft section. You can get it online. Um, it just gives a beautiful um, aged or antiquing effect to whatever you use it for. It looks like the mercury glass, but in red, basically, if you apply it to like glass and different surfaces. But I thought it would be kind of cool to add it to these um, wooden surfaces. So yeah, so you're gonna need that. And they look like this. So I'm gonna show this to you before we get started. It's just little um, sheets of red, leafing basically it sort of looks like mylar you know the mylar balloons that shiny look that they have but yeah um really super easy to work with so move these to the side and let's get started on this all right so what i did was i took my paint pen and i painted my wooden heart shapes um with the black pen now whatever color you want to use is totally up to you and like those um mirrored effect sheets come in different colors you can even get the gold leafing if you want to it just depends on what colors you want to use and the effect you're trying to achieve but i wanted to use black with the red so i used the black pen 
to paint it. Like I said, you can use a Sharpie if you want to. And I just went around the edges as well so you didn't see that wood color on the sides and I let this dry. Now, what we're gonna do is put that to the side, <clears throat> one to the side. And I took my little finger and I just dipped it into the Mod Podge because I didn't feel like dealing with the brush. I mean, really, you can use the brush if you want. And I just rubbed it on the surface and around the edges. You don't have to do the edges if you don't want to, but I just chose to. And I just rubbed it on the surface and that was that because you have to have, like I said, some kind of adhesive for the um, leafing to adhere to. So I'm gonna clean my finger off. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm getting over that flu stuff, <laughs> so forgive me. All right, so what you want this to do is get a little bit tacky. It doesn't take long. Um, you know, you can kind of fan it like I'm doing or um, use a hairdryer or whatever, but it doesn't take long for that to get a little bit tacky. So what I did was I cut a little strip um, big enough to go over the piece that I'm working on. You don't really have to use that whole sheet because, you know, it can be cumbersome and then kind of wasteful too. So I just cut what I needed, just a little strip like this. And what you want to do is actually adhere it on the silver side. So basically your color is gonna be facing up when you apply it to it. So I think our um, glue is tacky enough. So I'm just gonna start up here at the top and just lay it on top and just kinda burnish it down with my fingers, basically. And just kinda work that in. And then I'm gonna lift it up I can get my fingers under there and press it into the sides like so. Just kind of let some of that color get on there. And you can kind of, if you want to, use your nail. Um, it's, you know, you don't have to, but it just depends on what kind of adhesion you want to get. You won't get full coverage um, because you want it to look aged and you just want that black popping up through. So yeah, so once you do that, and you think you got enough adhesion, um, you kind of want to start peeling it slowly and kind of peek at it and see. And there we go. And you just kind of peel it back. And, oh, I'm sorry. I'm getting the camera in here. Let me zoom in so you can kind of see. Okay, so you want to just kind of peel it back and you can see that that red is sticking to our Mod Podge. And you just peel it off and you get this awesome effect. And once that Mod Podge dries, you know, it dries clear, it's gonna be absolutely stunning. I think that is so, so pretty. Okay, so we're gonna set that side to aside to finish drying. And we'll do one more so you can kind of see how it works. So I'm gonna take my finger again, dip it in the Mod Podge, rub it on the surface and around the sides. And again, you don't have to do the sides if you don't want to. All right, that's it for a minute. Get in the, whoops, I'm coming out of frame. <laughs> Get into frame and then I'm clean my finger off. There we go. And take my leafy and just lay it. Let me see if I can get my finger out of the way. And just lay it across the top of the heart like so and press it down using your finger and then lift it up sort of press it into the sides if you want okay and give it a whoop, give it a good press there we go a really good pressing down and you can kind of see where it started it here. Okay. I'm getting all kinds of fuzz sticking to my fingers. 
There we go. <clears throat> and we're going to slowly lift this off. And there we go. Okay. And see how pretty that is? Oh my gosh. So cute. And you can seal this if you want with more of the Gloss Mod Podge. Um, if you wanted a muted look, you could use the Matte Mod Podge. But I'm going to leave mine just like it is because I think it'll be totally fine. It's here. It's adhered down. It's Mod Podge. It's not going anywhere. But you have these beautiful little heart-shaped embellishments. You can use these, again, like I said, for the earrings. And excuse my dirty finger. <laughs> But you can use these for earrings or um, craft embellishments like for um, Valentine's Day cards. You can embellish um, little trinket boxes, jars, you know, um, treat containers. I think these would be so precious on little treats for your um, child's class for Valentine's Day. Like if you do the... Um, card exchange or whatever you can let your child help you make these so precious okay so <clears throat> to make the earrings <clears throat> excuse me all you're gonna need are some of these earring backs I will use gold for this like I did with these earrings um, it just depends on whatever color I mean it really doesn't matter but I didn't just ain't no like that but anyway <laughs> And you can make some cute little earrings. These are a little bit bigger than the ones that I made earlier. But I think these would be stunning as um, earrings as well. And then the larger one. You can make these into earrings or this size into earrings if you want. But I just chose to make a pen. So I think this is a nice little craft project that anybody can do. And it's, you know, unique looking. I think none... No one of them is going to be exactly alike, and I think that's what makes them really cute. So, yeah, <clears throat> tell me what you think about this. Excuse me, y'all. Tell me what you think about this. If you try this, um, let me know how it turns out down below. I love to know when you guys try some of my DIY product. I mean, <laughs> DIY projects. So, yeah, and if you haven't already, please subscribe. Um, more DIYs coming, y'all, um, and more videos in general to come. So, yeah, give me zoom in so you can see. I think I'm in as far as I can go. But, yeah, I'm going to attach some pictures. Um, but, yeah, let me know what you think. And until my next video, I'll see y'all then. Bye.